Hi guys, this is Tero from RC Thoughts speaking to you about the RFID battery system with, with a Chetty sensor to identify batteries, different batteries in the model. The sensor itself is, is really small. It's about 38 to by 25 millimeters, something like that. We can compare it to uh, R9 receiver. It's a little bit lower shorter about the same width so you can fit it practically anywhere reading distance to this sticker like 25 millimeter diameter tags is about three centimeters that's a little over an inch so should be plenty this is an empty tag so let's put it on the reader and give some power to the receiver and we'll have it running as we can see in the Lua app here, it's an empty tag, there's no values, we can't use it. And, and if we look at the raw data, and, and this is the data that is available on the DSDC 14 or 16. Uh, it's, these are sensor values from the RFID reader. There's the ID, uh, battery capacity, uh, cycles and, and cell count. Uh, the whole idea is based on Alastair C's great work on Heli, Heli Freak. Uh, I have modified it quite a lot and let's see what that's about. Uh, programming the tags in the Alastair C's model was pretty hard. You had to rewrite the Arduino code every time with a new tag and that's not really useful when you have several batteries to do. Uh, also, also, we need to keep in mind that not all are really computer tech savvy, so, so we can make it a little easier. So let's go to applications and Jetty box and go to expander. I have apparently a small typo there. Uh, this is the RCT Jetty Tools RFID battery application controlled via Jetty box. So we shall see what's there. First menu value. Uh, is to show the actual values of the RFID tag and as we can see it's the empty tag it's all zeros so we need to change those let's put tag ID to 1 and go to next to the right capacity okay now we have some options let's say we have a 4400 uh, 4400 milliamps battery we don't want to press the up button for 4,000 times, right? So uh, the down button actually gives a thousand milliamps at a time. And if you screw it up, press left and right, it's zeros. So let's give it uh, 4,000 and some hundreds. Now, if you think uh, that you have 1,650, and you want to 50, that's possible. Press the up and down buttons simultaneously, you get 50. Press it again, you get it to hundreds. All right, that's the capacity done. Uh, next up is the cycles. How many cycles the battery have been run? Let's put a few cycles there just for fun. And the last one is the cell count. The cell count is important that you always make it as individual battery cell count. For let's say you use two 6S batteries in 12S configuration, uh, my Lua app is actually calculating that automatically. So always make the right individual battery cell count here. Okay, we have done that. Let's go to the right, save up and down. Okay. Let's play up and down and tag is written, press left to exit and it shows what we have written. We have wrote it, written to the tag now that it's ID1, three cycles, 4400 milliamps capacity with six cells. Let's see. There it is. Battery one, six cells, six cell battery with three cycles and 4400 milliamps capacity and those are done in the Lua app RFID battery with the 
help of, we can see that the battery ID 1 is named battery 1. If we can change that if we want to. We also need to define some, some values here in the common settings, of course the model name for the log purpose, and we need to select also the RFID sensors, uh, ID sensor for the identification. And then we have the uh, capacity sensor, I'm faking it here, I don't have any actual model connected, voltage sensor and so on for the automatic cell count calculation and so on. Then there's a few alarm settings. All this is available to read on, on my website. But this is it. Now it's actually showing some actual values. We can see here that the values are also here. And now when we disconnect the power from the model, it says signal, signal loss. loss, clear it up. And next time we use this same RFID tag and connect the model, it shows up what it's supposed to do. Battery one, six cells, three cycles, 4,400 milliamps. That was that. Have a nice day.